From amazing waffles to the story of cheesecake, stay tuned to number one to find out the craziest origins of your favorite foods. Number 10. The Waffle A waffle is traditionally referred to as a Belgian waffle, so it only makes sense that the current form comes from Belgium. This tasty breakfast cake really became known when they were brought to America in the 16th century. But the origins of the waffle date all the way back to ancient Greece, where they started as a simple cake that was flattened between two metal plates. They also used to be way less sugary than they are now, as they were very basic and contained primarily flour and water, with no sweetenings or toppings. The waffle's ancestors were called obelio. However, in the 12th century, the waffle finally got its signature honeycombed shape. It began being called the gaufre, which translates to waffla, meaning a piece of honey beehive. Starting in the 16th century, though, is where waffles began to evolve into more of a delicacy, with milk, eggs, sugar, and honey added to the mix. However, they were only served to the privileged members of society. Luckily for us, some people finally packed up their waffles and moved to America. Number 9. French Fries Our whole life may be a lie, because, as it turns out, French fries are not even from France. Then again, they just might be. There seem to be two alternate ways in which these potato fritters came to be. It is said that they were actually originated in Belgium in the late 1600s, where they loved to thinly slice fish and fry it. During winter, though, when the lakes froze over, it made it hard to access their traditional fish. So, for some odd reason, they turned to potatoes and followed the same cooking method. They sliced and fried them and ended up creating a now mainstay food. But during World War I is when Americans finally came into contact with them. The soldiers enjoyed them so much that they took them back to their home countries. The confusing thing, though, is that many historians believe that fries actually originated in France. But the first fries there would actually have popped up about a century later, in the 1700s, being sold by the French vendors. Here they were being called frites, and they were cut into all shapes and sizes. But eventually, Thomas Jefferson tried some in France and brought them with him to the White House. So nobody is certain when and where French fries got their start, either being in Belgium or France. Maybe it was just because calling them French fries has a nicer ring to them than Belgian fries. However, it doesn't really matter what we call them, as long as we call them delicious. Number 8. Nutella Next up is a smooth, chocolatey cream that can sweeten up anything. But before we learn about its history, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by clicking the subscribe button below. Nutella is a delicious topping made of cocoa and hazelnuts. While this seems like an easy enough concept, it was not invented until the 20th century. This is a perfect example of desperate times calls for desperate measures. Nutella was mixed together due to a lack of food supply during World War I, and that included precious chocolate. Bakers weren't going to give up that easy, though, so one pastry maker named Pietro Ferrero decided to compromise what he did have, and that was a whole lot of hazelnuts. Mixing them and cocoa together, Ferrero thus created the first Nutella paste. Generally speaking, chocolate was a luxury only the rich could afford. Ferrero wanted to find a way to give the common people a taste of chocolate, too. Nutella was definitely more accessible and became a huge success because of that. Nutella is now a huge brand today, and a definite moneymaker, Ferrero is said to have had a net worth of $28 billion. Who knew that chocolate could make you a billionaire? Number 7. Cheesecake Now we have the rich history of a rich dessert. The origins of cheesecake actually dates way back, with evidence supporting it being used during 700 BC for the Greek Olympic Games. The cheese made it a great source of energy for the athletes. So, in a way, cheesecake could actually be kind of healthy. At least it used to be. The Greeks would just pound together cheese into a smooth paste and then mix in wheat, flour, and honey. The first recorded name of the cake was called libum. It wasn't until the Romans conquered Greece that the recipe was modified, though, and the Romans added eggs to the mix and began serving the dish warm, and then they changed the name to libuma. 
As Rome evolved, the recipe did too. Sugar, milk, and butter were added during the 15th century, and in 1872, cream cheese was accidentally invented by a New York dairy farmer. With this new ingredient, cheesecake began gaining much popularity at the beginning of the 19th century back in New York. While the New York version is currently the most popular, others began to imitate the recipe, and some variations include German, Chicago, St. Louis, and more. Number 6. Ice Cream Cone Next up is our favorite edible cup on a hot summer day. Well, I guess it's the only edible cup on a hot day. Waffle cones are commonly used but not often thought about. Without this delicious invention, we would be stuck eating ice cream from boring bowls, which is exactly what people used to do before the 20th century came along. The exact inventor of ice cream cones is debatable, but we know they came into play around 1902, and most credit a man from New York named Italo Marchioni. At the time, ice cream used to be sold by street vendors in glass dishes, which many customers would lick, still, or break. And this posed sanitary issues as well as the high cost of replacement. So beginning in 1896, he began experimenting with different foods and, you guessed it, one of those foods were waffles. Waffles ended up working perfectly for a cone shape, so he began selling them. He even found a way to adapt a waffle iron into molding cones instead of circles. But some say that a fellow named Ernest Hamwe actually created the defined ice cream cone. He was the first one to sell it in a pure, conical shape. It is known that the first cone popped up at the St. Louis Fair, but there were tons of vendors there, so defining one starting point is nearly impossible and probably not worth the trouble. Number 5. Peanut Butter Peanut butter is another one of those foods that evolved through time. Evidence shows that peanut butter was used all the way back in BC times, where the ancient Aztecs and Incas used it for everything from eating to sacrifices. It was more of a mashed together paste at the time and not as beneficial as today's traditional mix. Peanut butter was a rather simple concept, so it was likely used by many civilizations. In 1895, Dr. Harvey Kellogg, which is the creator of Kellogg's cereal, patented a process for creating peanut butter from raw peanuts. He then began to market it as a healthy protein substitute. Many know that George Washington Carver also contributed to the development of peanut butter, and many were even told that he actually was the inventor. But in reality, he just discovered a whole bunch of uses for peanut butter. Around 300. Number 4. Dipping Dots To refresh your memory, dipping dots are those little balls of ice cream that don't melt. Well, until they reach your mouth. The whole concept of dipping dots is kind of strange, like, why do they not melt? Why are they small balls? And why do they cost more than ice cream? But regardless, we know that some quirky genius had to have come up with the idea. Dipping dots were originally invented by microbiologist Kerr Jones in 1988. Jones was originally trying to figure out a new way to feed cows more efficiently, and he experimented with freezing cow feed at 350 degrees below zero, turning the cow food into little pellets. So how does cow food and ice cream correlate? Lucky for us, Kerr Jones was a fan of ice cream, and he did just the same thing as he did with the cow feed. He froze it using liquid nitrogen, and thus, the ice cream dots were born. Now, dipping dots are sold in many parts of America and Asia in many different flavors. Guess we have to thank science for this one. Number 3. Marshmallows Nowadays, marshmallows are seen as a sweet treat commonly used in hot cocoa and s'mores. The name of this food is pretty practical, actually, even though it sounds kind of silly. The sap used to create them comes from the mallow plant. The plant mallow grows in bodies of water known as marshes. So, voila! The name marshmallow was born. Egyptians used this sweet concoction 2,000 years ago, and the candy was so sweet and glorious that it was only served to gods, pharaohs, and nobles. Marshmallows were also seen to be a natural cure, and that's not just for a craving sweet tooth. They believed it could cure sore throats and pains. The French began adding corn syrup and eggs to the mix in the 1800s, which turned it into more of a candy than a medicine. Finally, the marshmallow was being enjoyed by all classes of people. Number 2. Ketchup Next, we have the origin of America's favorite sauce. Ketchup is something that just seems common, but it's actually a unique kind of concoction. 
It's some kind of salty tomato paste that, for some reason, is always on burgers and fries. But believe it or not, ketchup wasn't always made from tomatoes. More than 500 years ago, it was made out of salty, fermented fish by the Chinese. Chinese sailors introduced it to other Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia and Indonesia, and it eventually made its way further west. It began being mixed with all kinds of things from walnuts to mushrooms to wine. But it wasn't until the early 19th century that ketchup started being made with tomatoes. Ketchup finally made it big in America in 1876, all thanks to one man. His name was Henry John Hines. You might recognize the name Hines by its common appearance on ketchup bottles still to this day. Now ketchup is used by many countries and it's a popular condiment. Number 1. Fig Newtons Fig Newtons are another kind of food that went from medicine to sweet. History reveals that the Egyptians created these cookies way back in ancient times, but they were simply figs wrapped in a flour-based dough. Figs were healthy and commonly used as a digestive solution in those days and prescribed by many physicians. There is actually some proof that the cookies do help. Even though it was a pretty similar match, the invention of Newtons is today credited to Charles M. Roser, a cookie maker from Ohio. Some believed he named the cookies after Isaac Newton, while others say he named it after a town in Massachusetts. James Henry Mitchell later improved the manufacturing of Newtons by creating a machine which gave them the hollow opening in the crust which would then be filled with fruit preserves. Many say that Fig Newtons can still help with all kinds of digestive problems, so perhaps we should have one as an experiment. What did you think was the craziest food origin? Let us know in the comments below and take care!